when you debate your life, when you go back and forth in your life, you don't know if you're going to live or die. You realize a lot of things, great things that happen in your life and terrible things that happen in your life. And one thing that stood out to me is my parents never told me they loved me till I was 29 years old. And it really messed with me in the hospital, right? So before I get into that story, I got to tell you about my parents. If you haven't seen my last special, my dad is black born and raised in Louisiana, has a PhD in nuclear physics and served our country in the army, people. Right. Now, in the last special, he was 75, now he's 78 and he hasn't changed. He's still black and has swag. He still walks around the house like this, you know what I mean? And he's always laughing like, yeah, 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 yeah. And always pointing at random shit that's not there. Just like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> now, my mom, she was born and raised in Korea, Southside. <laughs> now we know who doesn't watch the news in this room. <laughs> I said it in my last special blazing. It's tough having an Asian mom, because if they think it, they say it, they have no filter. My mom just turned 70, and now all bets are off. She does not care. I never thought my mom could be worse. My mom won't even say people's names to me anymore because she would rather describe them to me. <laughs> she calls me the other day and goes, you know what? I like your friend, he nice. I go, which one? She goes, fat boy, small feet. <laughs> but I knew exactly who she was talking about. <laughs> because with my mom, my mom will say things that make you mad. She will say things that make you want to fight. But my mom feels, really feels, that she can say anything to anybody. Because it's a true, it's a true. <laughs> oh, you don't like true? <laughs> oh, why are you mad? It's a true. <laughs> Do I lie? Do I lie? My mom got in a fight with my wife. Now, full transparency, my wife cooks like once every couple of, you know, once a, once. So my mom walks into our new house and goes, oh, what a beautiful kitchen for no cooking. I go, Mom, you can't say that in my house. No, -uh, not to my wife. She goes, why? It's a chair. It's a chair. <laughs> you don't like chair. And then to me and my wife, she goes, do I lie? <laughs> do I lie? I look at my dad for help. He's like, walk away, son. Walk away. <laughs> My wife, she's white. Ooh, it got quiet, okay. <laughs> but my wife is just not white. She white, white. <laughs> now, I know a lot of people in here are white, and you're questioning yourselves right now, going, am I white, white? <laughs> no. My wife is whiter than you. My wife is from Gillette, Wyoming, white. You hear that? When white people and Timmy like, damn. That's white. But we got a beautiful family, man. We got two kids. My son is now five, my daughter's two. And they're black, white, and Asian. That's right, that's right. We gave birth to pandas. We call them Ling Ling and Sing Sing. In my last special, I talked about this when my son was born, because I didn't have a daughter at that time, when my son was born and the doctor handed me my son. It's crazy as a father, because I knew I would die for him, right? And I don't even know this dude. <laughs> he could be a terrible human being, but I would die for him, you know? But when they handed me my daughter, oh, it was different. I was like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I would kill for you. <laughs> I became a murderer overnight. 
Because the family dynamic to me is crazy. Like, I would die for my son. I would kill for my daughter. But here's what's crazy. I wouldn't kill for my wife. Because that's not my job. That's her father's job. I don't want to step on anybody's toes. Because I love both of my kids the same but the love is in different directions. My son, I want him to be able to take care of himself, be strong, but I know for the rest of my life, I'm going to protect my daughter, 100%. And what's the biggest threat to women? Men. Look at that, men. So now I hate all men. I became a lesbian activist overnight. Slash murderer. I'm Ellen DeGeneres with a gun. Because every man's a threat to my daughter. Every single man eventually will be a threat to my daughter. I hate my son. Sometimes I hate my son. Why? Because he's a threat to my daughter. We all have baby cams. I'm watching my kids play. My daughter's playing with her little toy. My son walks over and grabs the toy from her. I get so angry, but then my daughter grabs it back, and I'm like, yeah, that's my baby girl. <laughs> right? Don't take no man's crap. But then my son looks around to see if anybody's watching. <laughs> Starts backing up where she is, and he hits her with his butt. And she falls to the ground and starts crying. I get so angry inside. I'm so mad, I wanna fuck this little dude up, right? <laughs> but I can't, he's only five, and it's not a fair fight. It's not a fair fight. <laughs> All I can do is scream and lay, hey! You better stop that! And he runs off. But my daughter could hit my son with a brick in the face. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, girl. Good job, good job. <laughs> because a daughter it makes you a better man, 100%, 100%. It makes you more empathetic. You care about people. You get sensitive. I cry all the time now, <laughs> all the time. I don't even know why. My wife looks at me in disgust I cry so much. <laughs> She's like, why are you crying? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen my dad cry once, but I cry all the time. And then it hit me. Every generation of father gets softer and softer and softer. It means things are getting easier. My black grandfather was born in 1902 in America. Went through injustices you couldn't even imagine. My dad went through segregation, still got a PhD in nuclear physics, and had to march had to march just to drink out of the same water fountains as everybody else. Woo! That's right. <laughs> Me? <laughs> I would never drink out of a fountain. That shit's disgusting. <laughs> But my dad, man, I can't take him to the park because he has a drink out of every freaking fountain. I'm like, you fought for this? He's like, I deserve this, son. I deserve it. <laughs> tell you, man. I'm going on six years of marriage, man. My, my parents, though, they just celebrated 48 years of marriage. That's something to clap about. So I asked my dad, I said, hey man, uh, you've been married 48 years. How'd you do it? How do you stay married that long? My dad looks at me and goes, that's simple, son. Never say the first or second thing that pops into your head. <laughs> you always say the third. I go, what's that mean? He goes, well, the first thing, you will get a divorce. The second thing, you are on the couch. But the third thing, happily ever after. I'm six years in, I don't get it, to about a month ago. Me and my wife are driving to Vegas. She packs a cooler of food for our two-year-old daughter. We get to Vegas, my wife opens up the cooler and goes, oh my God, the food all melted. I look in the cooler and notice she didn't put any ice in it.
I manned up though, you know, hey, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't put any ice in a cooler. My wife looks at me and goes, you don't need to put ice in a cooler. It's a cooler, duh. <laughs> now the first thing I thought was, that's the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. But I didn't say the first thing, I didn't say the second thing, I said the third thing. I said, baby, I can't believe this cooler. <laughs> is broken. <laughs> <laughs>